Ace Hardware, Hills Plaza South State College, and South Dorcas Street, Lewistown. Identifying weeds and how to deal with them, all on the next year-round gardening. From dandelions to lamb's quarters to crabgrass, there are a variety of weeds that can pop up in your lawn and garden. Some are more troublesome than others, and it ultimately depends on how much you mind them. Let's take a look at some common weeds you'll find in your garden. Dandelions. One of the most common weeds you'll find in gardens and lawns are dandelions. They'll typically start flowering from March and periodically throughout the summer to July. Dandelions reproduce through seed production, and you'll see these on little puff balls and spread very well on windy days. These perennial weeds produce a deep taproot and can be difficult to control. If pulling to remove, make sure you get the whole plant above ground foliage and below ground roots. In lawn care, some individuals use broadleaf herbicides. Wood sorrel. Wood sorrel is often found in lawns and flower beds. Similar in appearance to clovers, they are distinguished by their upright green stems and three heart-shaped light green or reddish green leaves. They will also produce yellow flowers. In early spring, the plant emerges from dormant seeds and establishes a rosette of heart-shaped leaves. As the temperature rises, it begins to produce small, bright yellow flowers, adding a charming touch to the landscape. As summer progresses, the plant produces small seed capsules that explosively disperse their seeds, aiding in its rapid spread. Controlling yellow wood sorrel requires a combination of strategies. For prevention, maintaining a dense and healthy lawn through proper mowing and fertilization can help reduce the chances of invasion. Hand pulling the weeds before they set seed is effective, especially for small infestations. Applying a thick layer of mulch in flower beds can smother emerging seedlings and deter growth. Yellow nut sedge. Another weed found in lawns and flower beds is yellow nut sedge. Yellow nut sedge has a triangle three-edged stem, which helps distinguish it from a grass. While it can produce seed, its main means of spread are from underground stems and tubers. A single plant can produce multiple tubers, which can remain dormant in soil from one to several years before germinating. Leaves and stems of yellow nut sedge emerge from growing points on rhizomes and from tubers in spring and new plants continue to develop throughout the growing season. If only a few yellow nut sedge plants are infesting a lawn, they can be removed by hand pulling soon after leaf emergence in spring and before tubers form later in the growing season. Be sure to remove as much of the below ground portion of the plants as possible, as broken bits of rhizomes can give rise to new plants. Ace Hardware, locally owned and operated, and a proud supporter of public television. Ace, the helpful place, Hills Plaza South State College and South Dorcas Street, Lewistown. Videos like this are made possible by support from viewers like you. If you enjoyed this video, visit WPSU.org to become a member today and help us create more content like this.